Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic back already with another news update about Jurassic World Dominion toys from Mattel. So much stuff happening right now. This is actually the third part in a three part series of uh, Jurassic World toy reveals. So definitely check out those previous parts for even more toys. But wow, do we have a lot to cover today too in terms of all new reveals that just hit today from Mattel across a few different assortments. So let's dive right in. First up is a new extreme damage figure. Uh, this is not a dinosaur this is a, uh, a prehistoric reptile the metrodon really exciting stuff of course the extreme damage line um, has a few other figures in this assortment we have Colaris and velociraptor but the metrodon's probably the most exciting out of everything um, just because it is a, a a it's a rare figure to begin with the previous dino rivals version is a pretty hard to find figure and now we're finally getting a uh, kind of a re-release of dimetrodon but also uh you know, this is a um, this is a figure from the movie, or sorry, a species from the movie. Dimetrodon uh, is in the film, so uh, lots to be excited about with that here. And lastly, the figure is uh, an improvement in every way uh, of the of the uh, previous Mattel Jurassic Dimetrodon. Um, not just this new extreme damage feature, which when you press the button, uh, the little little claw marks change from blood to skin, um, which is a really clever uh, action feature. But, but no, the improvements I'm talking about are the head sculpt, been completely revisited uh, the old one had these big chunky ridiculous teeth and kind of weird looking eyes but they definitely tweaked this figure uh, they used that figure as a base but made some much needed improvements on the, on the Dimetrodon um, and I also tweaked the way the, uh, the I guess what you'd call the feet of this uh, four-legged creature um, they changed the the way the hands are webbed and the feet are webbed which really makes a big difference uh, at least for me wasn't a big fan of that old figure but this new one looks fantastic. I believe the tail is also tweaked too. So an improvement in every way. I wasn't just saying that. So really excited about this. And this is actually one of three Dimetrodon figures we're going to get in this first Jurassic World Dominion toy year. Possibly even more um, because it is from the film. But um, we'll take them. We can't get enough because this Dimetrodon just looks excellent um, in every single way. So looking forward to this one. Next up is a human dinosaur two pack our first look at one of these from mattel jurassic world um dominion this assortment was pretty popular with camp cretaceous the campers coming with dinosaurs and i'm glad to see it made its return for dominion because um we love our human figures and this is a great way to get them out without them kind of you know shell forming no one buying them especially when they come with incredible looking dinosaurs like this i mean look at this dilophosaurus that claire comes with look at the paint application on that this is probably probably almost amber collection quality uh, in terms of the paint layering i mean the frill looks incredible it looks it really matches back to the animatronic um that we see in the trailer with those kind of darker colors on the edge of the frill this thing just looks excellent 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 and claire herself looks great all new figure not a uh re-release from fallen kingdom or anything like that she comes with some accessories too she comes with a big rifle so claire is definitely packing in this new set she also has another accessory which i can't quite make out in these photos i don't think it's a stick uh, it looks like it's like a phone of some sort um and of course dilophosaurus comes with that um that little venom piece that all of their dilophosaurus come with it's not a new figure it's an attack pack repaint but definitely our best paint deco of the dilophosaurus yet um so and yeah i mean look at that claire figure up close it just looks really nice they got her hairstyle all kind of revamped for the new film and they also she also has some layered clothing on top and some paint on her belt so just some really nice um details there for this basic three and three quarter figure not even a hammond collection figure but still lots of nice detail so um human dinosaur pack there is one other um human dinosaur pack coming out with wave one it's blue or sorry beta velociraptor beta and owen but we don't have official pictures of that yet so we'll have to talk about that in a future video but let's move right along to roar strikers uh roar strikers is an assortment i think there's been pictures going around about this for a while now but we've been trying to be good and only talk about um figures that were officially revealed 
and we're counting today's images as official reveals for the Roar Striker line. So this line's replacing uh, Roar of Ors, um, or I guess, I mean, the, basically the $15 price point dinosaur figures with uh, sound. So that's what um, Roar Strikers are. They have a feature where you can push down on their back um, and their sort of hips um, cause the jaws to snap and there's sound as well. So this is an all new figure. Let me see if I can pronounce this right. Scorpio Venator. Um, feel free to correct me in the comments, but Scorpio Venator is an all new figure from Mattel and it looks kind of like a Carnotaurus, but I really love the coloring, the yellow. Big fan of yellow dinosaurs. We don't have enough, so already pretty excited about this one. I am a little concerned with the lack of paint. Uh, kind of ends before you even get to the legs. No, no paint on the legs. No paint on the tail. But the sculpt, at least, is very nice. Um, picture is not the best quality, but you can probably make out some sort of feathering or plumage or just general kind of fuzzy features on the back and legs of this dinosaur, which is definitely. A unique feature. We're seeing a lot more feathers in the Mattel dinosaurs here and there, which is nice. Still no full-blown, you know, f puffy furball <laughs> dinosaurs, but I do like the nice kind of hybrid here with the Scorpio Venator. And um, again, I love the yellow on this one. The black or darker color on the head and back definitely pop. There's lots of contrast against that yellow. So pretty cool. Just wish that paint went a little further back behind the legs, but I'll wait to get this figure in hand before I really, you know, <laughs> hone in on hating on the, the lack of paint. It could be a cool figure um, once we get it uh, on the review table, but um, I love that yellow, so it, I'm, it's already ahead in my book. Next up, not a familiar, uh, or sorry, not a new figure, but a familiar figure, Ankylosaurus. This is the fourth version of Ankylosaurus. If you count the very first one, plus the green, the vibrant green repaint, and then of course we got Bumpy shortly thereafter. This will be the fourth version. Nothing remarkably different about this one either, except for that new Roar Striker action where you push down and the tail swings. Um, and then, of course, it has the DNA tag you can see um, sort of over the neck in this photo. But I will say that the uh, action feature for this where you press down on it and it swings its tail, I kind of like that. You know, these are toys for kids after all. And out of all the different ways that Ankylosaurus has had its tail be used, I think this is probably the most toyetic and that you can literally just press down on it and the tail swings. Um, so probably the best use of an action feature in this particular version. But other than that, um, you know, I don't know about other collectors, but did we really need another Ankylosaurus? Um, it doesn't matter because we're getting one. Um, here's a new species though, a little more exciting. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right. Rajasaurus or Rajasaurus or Rajasaurus. I'm going to say Rajasaurus. But again, correct me in the comments if I'm totally off base here, but I'm pretty excited about this one too. Um, similar to the Scorpio Venator, it is lacking a little bit in the paint department. This one, the paint even ends before the legs. It only goes kind of down the back a little bit, but um, similar to the Scorpio Venator, the, the uh, sculpt is gorgeous, which you know kind of helps forgive the lack of paint. Um, I love that Mattel has probably explored almost every carnivore, random mid-sized to large-sized carnivore in the book. I'm sure there's plenty more to go, but um, they continue to kind of bring new species to life in toy form, and they're always fresh and look different from one another. So that's what I feel about Rajasaurus. It's definitely got some unique features that make it kind of different from Tarbosaurus or Albertosaurus or any of those, including those spines on the neck, which are pretty nice. Um, also has sort of like some nodules or like kind of you know larger bumps that get bigger as it goes down to the tail and the flank of the dinosaur um, but also it has this like big horn on its head too which um, I think it's just one horn I'd have to go check uh, you know Google <laughs> look at some pictures of the actual paleo drawings but it looks like there's just one horn up there versus sort of like two horns like a Carnotaurus which is fun this kind of reminds me of an Allosaurus even but um, again, sort of some more unique features with those spines and that horn. Um, and similar to the other Roar Strikers, you literally just press down on the back and um, it'll s snap its jaws and make noise. Um, so all new species coming from Mattel. So many new species um, with Dominion. I, I, w I was expecting there to be a lot of new species, but wow, there's they, they, really, they really went for it. And it, this wave alone has two new carnivores, which is pretty exciting stuff. Um, but 
you know, all good things must end. We do have another <laughs> returning figure that we've gotten um, many times. I can't even count them all off the top of my head. I, this is probably the, at least the sixth or seventh Triceratops. Might even be more than that. But I'm still excited about this particular one because the paint deco is reminiscent of my favorite version of the Triceratops um, thus far before this one, which was the Dino Rivals kind of light blue and gray version. Um, I really like that one. I only got one, but now this one almost looks like a complimentary to that it's a little bit more muted and darker but i love when the um, dinosaur toy paint uh, a, a, across two figures sort of complements each other it reminds me of like you know actual in nature paint variations or, or sorry uh um, camouflage decorations and so these triceratopses are going to look really nice next to each other um, definitely be displaying them next to each other otherwise nothing too remarkable about triceratops but it's a popular species so I'm not surprised they're bringing it for the first wave of roar strikers because kids love their triceratops it's a classic species but Let's jump into more newness. Uh, this is the, uh, let me see if I have this name right, Massive Action, yes. Not to be confused with Massive Biter or anything like that or Mega Breakout. This assortment is the $20 assortment, um, and this year it's going to be called Massive Action. Um, and this is an all-new species coming from Mattel, another carnivore. Uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Yang Chuanosaurus. Uh, another interesting carnivore with a unique feature in that kind of strange crest on its nose. Um, I love this thing though. It's got a really, really nice design to it. Um, really nice colors, very natural looking colors. And again, for another, you know, kind of bipedal carnivore from Mattel, they really went out of their way to give each dinosaur, you know, its own kind of unique features. So it's not just, you know, another kind of T-Rex looking dinosaur. I mean, this one has kind of bigger bumps on its spine. Uh, I guess spine or frill. Um, you can see their bigger ridges compared to that Rajasaurus we were just looking at. Lots of really nice detailing, um, scale texture throughout the whole figure. And then of course we also have that actual massive action which is very similar to uh, primal attack in that when you manipulate the tail uh, the whole neck moves the whole chest moves and it looks like a button on the tail also manipulates the jaws i kind of wish that we had uh, articulated jaws those that's always nice but at least its default state is closed and uh, pressing the button will make it open so um, no sound on these that they literally are just um, a soundless $20 figures or $20, $22, I guess, this year. I don't think they're $20 anymore. So still a really good value for the price, even though there's no electronics. And look at this thing. It's just really, really cool looking figure. Um, again, very unique face, facial features, skull. So um, another awesome carnivore to add to our collection shelf. The other massive action figure coming out in Wave 1 is Quetzalcoatlus. And this is probably one that I'm probably just as excited about as I was um, for the Therizinosaurus. Uh, that was probably my most anticipated figure. Uh, got that one to review. Definitely check it out. But next up is Quetzalcoatlus. Um, again, I'm really excited about those two figures, this one and Therizinosaurus, because they are from the film. And what we see in the trailer is so exciting, especially for Quetzalcoatlus. That helicopter attack scene looks so cool. And uh, I want to get my hands on the toy because that's that's <laughs> that's how I enjoy Jurassic is uh, watching the movies and then grabbing the toys. And this Quetzalcoatlus toy totally fits the bill. No pun intended. Um, this is actually a slight rework from the Dino Rivals Quetzalcoatlus that Mattel already came out with. But it has some really nice paint that uh, matches the film, obviously. And it also looks like they retooled the head so that the design matches the film a little bit more. Also have... Um, retooling for action features. There's uh, a button that makes the wings flap. I think there's another button that makes the um, mouth lunge forward or, and snap. We also have that little trap door um, that has the DNA tag, which that's too bad on these um, pteranodons. I know there's another one uh, that has come out that has a trap door on it. Um, kind of a, you know, a corner they had to cut or sacrifice they had to make to get the DNA tags in here, making them these trap doors but it definitely takes away from the figure. There's no sugarcoating it. Would love that if that wasn't there, if it was another button or something. But in any case, it looks like a really cool figure. Again, we're getting a closer look here of the head, and you can see some of those vibrant colors on the beak and on that little kind of notch above its head. Um, 
I, I just can't wait to see this thing in the movie. It's going to be a really cool sequence, it looks like, and that always makes the toy that much more exciting. So cannot wait to track down this massive action figure in particular over the uh, other carnivore. Now let's talk about play sets. We have a couple more to, to uh, cover, and this stuff is some of the most exciting um, things that come out of Mattel for a while because we're getting human figures again. Um, and this particular one is Extreme Damage, so that'll be Walmart exclusive. But uh, other than that, we do have some uh, remarkable things here. We have a blue figure with Extreme Damage, meaning you know there's a button you can press on blue somewhere that makes her kind of red uh, scar turn to skin. Uh, love that clever action feature. We also have um, a couple human figures here as well. I can't tell from the box, uh, you know, from this particular image if there's accessories. Once we see the back, might be able to get a better idea of that. But we are getting a new figure for Owen, an all new figure, as well as whoever this trench coat guy is. I'm not quite sure who he is. I think his name is Delacourt. I'm possibly a villain for Dominion. They really haven't shown him in the trailers or anything. So I can only speculate. But the Owen figure um, is all new. I mean, he's got a, a beard for one. He also has a red shirt. Um, from these uh, particular photos, I don't know if it looks like Owen necessarily. Um, kind of looks, I don't know. Doesn't look like uh, Chris Pratt, that's for sure. But we'll have to get a better close up look at his beard and maybe it looks a little better in person. But um, red shirt's kind of fun. Kind of, you know, makes him different than some of the previous figures and then uh, Delacorte over here looks like he's from the matrix with his trench coat and his uh, kind of um, edgy haircut but all new human figure if you're tuning in to collect Jurassic you know we talked about another uh, playset the other day in a video um, that was that Malta uh, I think it's called um, what is it called uh, capture and capture and rampage release and rampage and it came with a uh, another new new human figure Sonia Santos so now we get her and uh, this Delacorte guy, um, all new characters for Jurassic getting figures. So pretty exciting stuff um, that they're hitting up all the supporting characters too. This next playset though is what I'm really excited about. I've been waiting the whole video to geek out over it. This is the uh, kitchen encounter pack. Uh, featuring the iconic Jurassic Park scene from the first film, the raptors in the kitchen, and man, this set looks like it's got it all. We have Tim Murphy, which we got last year, but he's got a little more dirt on him, a little more roughed up. We also have Lex Murphy, a fan-requested figure since the 90s. We're finally getting her. She looks great. She looks movie accurate. She comes with a frying pan, which is pretty hilarious. So um, can't miss that. Lex Murphy, first to the toy toy line, first figure. Mattel's finally coming through with that. We also have an excellent looking Velociraptor figure. I love this new sculpt they're doing with the neck articulation. Makes the figure a lot more fun and a lot more poseable. And of course, that deco looks familiar. It matches the Hammond Legacy Collection set we got in Target a couple years ago that had a couple painted raptors just like this for Jurassic Park so this one will fit in quite nicely with those but really I mean the packaging is what really makes this set come together for me have that beautiful scene of the kitchen back there we have this fun little like cardboard shelf that acts as a countertop for the raptor to stand on that's what I love about these legacy sets from this year and last year is that the packaging really tells the story with the background. If you remember the Ned reset with the waterfall or the Explorer set with the um, T-Rex paddock and back. And now we have this kitchen scene that sh uh, illustrates the whole sort of, um, you know, locale behind the figures themselves. So I'm not a mint and box guy uh, collector myself, but these sets always have me buy an extra because the, the packaging is just that fun and that cool. So um, the Kitchen Encounter pack is, is definitely carrying that forward. So this one's going to be very popular, I, I imagine. Um, again, something we've all been looking forward to for a long time. So really, really cool stuff from Mattel. Excellent job. Can't wait to uh, pre-order this one at Target. Um, but that is all I have to go over today. I say that after going and talking for 20 minutes about toys, but there's just so much cool stuff going, going, coming out of Mattel this year for 2022. It's almost too hard to keep track of, but stay tuned to Collect Jurassic here on YouTube and CollectJurassic.com. We'll definitely keep it all straightened out for you. Um, and I'm sure I'll be back with another video talking about even more toys soon. So stay tuned for that as well. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.